first morning on the Cape streams, we're on the small blah this morning. The river's looking awesome, the flow rate is, these rivers are incredible eh? So, hopefully the sun uh, pops its head over the mountains shortly and can get onto a bit of dry fly fun eh? But yeah, our rivers are looking super awesome man. Eh? Nice little pocket water. Yeah, this place is incredible, man. Eh? Yo. Boom. So you wanted that little nympho, eh? Fish are the bonus on these places like this. Clarity of the water, the rocks, the vegetation, it's just like everywhere you look it's mind blowing. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't fished the streams before, yo. Put it on, definitely like it should be bucket list stuff or any trout fishing. Stunning down here. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful day, good company, good equipment, all good.
set up a little dry dropper rig. Hey, day two on the Cape streams. Um, yesterday we had an awesome day on the small blow. Uh, sunny conditions, very light wind, upstream wind in the morning till about midday. Then it swung to a little downstream wind. Got some awesome little fish. Um, really stunning piece of water, but coming out to the whole slurp today, it's in the, I'm in the Dwarsberg Valley. And yeah, this, <laughs> this water looks awesome, eh? A little bit smaller than well, this section anyway, a little bit smaller than the small blow from yesterday, but it's got some depth. The color is a little bit darker than yesterday's water. But sure, looks good. I already seen one or two fish moving around, so can't wait, eh? Sure. Start to just do this thing. That's the first time for me. I've got a dragonfly. And he's made such a mess. Oh my word. What a mongoose. Oh my word. I just put a, put a cast up here and the next minute I saw my cat had start skating on the surface and it took off. Eh? A dragonfly. Oh my word. Oh that's weird. Oh freak. Never a dull moment on the river. Eh? <laughs> Flapping off. So my airlift, eh? What a cake. It's always nice is to kick back for a little bit, eh? 20 minutes, half an hour, get your breath back, refocus a bit, get some food in the belly, check over your rigs. So I've just redone my setup for for the rest of the afternoon, uh, fishing my little two weight T50, a little 001 uh, Evo on it, uh, and a little Rio Creek line. I've uh, been fishing dry dropper this last day or so, and it's, it's been very effective. Eh? This morning sesh, little uh, straggle cat has been doing the business. Eh? I've really turned on to it, it's been quite awesome. Man. So that's, uh, you can check that out on, the, on our YouTube channel. We've done a, I've done a tie on this before. Very simple fly, but super effective. Man. 
Yeah, lunch time sesh, kick back, stretch, relax the legs a little bit, and then we'll uh, see what the afternoon's got in store. Oh! That's the fish of the day, that's sure. Come to the end of the weekend down here in the Cape, it's been awesome. Got to fish some beautiful rivers, um, stunning little fish. The scenery is like mind blowing. If you haven't done it, or if you live down in Cape Town and you sort of been puzzling about it, you know, get hold of the Cape Piscatorial Society, find out about their membership. They even offer day fee day rates, so you can book as a day visitor. It's, it's truly awesome, man. Eh? I think it's definitely something that you need to put on your bucket list. Eh? Right, so. Time to head out the mountain. Been a long one. Cheers.